Well, that's all fine. Good, right. Well, I just have one last thing for you and then you can be on your way. Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Fully bulletproof and a few tricks up her sleeves. It's a shame, really. She was meant for you, but uh, she's been reassigned to 009. Oh, but you can have this. Does it do anything? It tells the time. Wait a minute, who is 009 anyway? Oh, actually, there she is now. You know what they say, if you snooze, you lose. time I thought that this was going to be the closest I could get to an Aston Martin or at least the largest size Aston Martin I would ever get it's always been it's been a fantasy car of mine it's been a dream car ever since I saw it um, when my father had me see uh, Thunderball I remember that was one of the first Bond films I'd ever seen and saw the Aston Martin there and as I've grown and obviously to where Daniel Craig is now I've always lusted after one of these and this is the story of how I was able to acquire one. This is the journey. So you first have to start with communication. I mean, it's always good communication. I, I started communicating with James Peacock, who's the, um, the general manager of Aston Martin. And specifically, um, James works at the Newport Beach Aston Martin. I was communicating with him. I saw that there was a 2006 Aston Martin Vantage. Fell in love with it. It was the right color. It was silver tungsten, right color, very bondish. Nice onyx interior, nice meteorite suede. I mean, it had everything I wanted. The right configuration, you name it. Tires, yes. But then it was gone. Uh, the gentleman who was selling it, used obviously, changed his mind, and it went out of my memory. Until, and this is all true, uh, until my um, wife and I were in California about to go hiking in Big Bear, and from our hotel we drove by the Yes, it is. The, the Newport Beach Aston Martin. And my wife said, do you want to stop in? Do you want to test drive something? And I actually drove a little bit by there and said, no, no, I, I didn't want it to be a tease, which it would have been. But sure enough, I went in there, uh, met James Peacock. He was very nice, remembered the correspondent back and forth. And then he said the immortal words to me. He said, hey, you know, that guy never sold that Aston Martin. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. And he asked, he goes, do you want to test drive if I can get it up here? The seller was in San Diego. So we said yes. Oh yeah, we said yes. And basically, um, we went hiking in Big Bear Mountain. Highly, highly recommend it. And when we came back, there was the Vantage. And I test drove it for about 35 minutes through the hills of California. I highly recommend that. And of course, I fell in love with it. When we came back, probably about 20 minutes later, we had bought the Aston Martin and I am going to enjoy it. I mean, it's, yes, you know, some people see it as the ultimate prop, the ultimate, the ultimate get for a James Bond fan. But for me, it's more than that. I, I've always loved the artistry of beautiful cars. So let's take a look at what this journey looked like. And first we have to start with kind of the basics, which was meeting James Peacock and getting the car to begin with in California. Let's take a look.
Well, okay, the car is purchased and we are back home from California. Now the excruciatingly long or seemingly long wait for the truck, the covered truck to bring it from California all the way to Pennsylvania. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it's early. Uh, what time is it? It is not even 6 a.m. I've been up since about 2.27 a.m. in the morning. A little like a kid on a holiday morning, but um, I couldn't sleep that well. The uh, delivery truck is going to be here uh, anytime now for the arrival of um, my fantasy car. I mean, there's no other way to put it. Um, by the way, this is my morning voice. Welcome to it. Eee, a little Demi Moorish. Um, I'm excited. You know, it's a weekday. It's not like I can go driving this thing out. I still have to fill out registration. I got a little, little ways to go before I can drive this thing on the road, but um, this is the arrival, so pretty excited. The waiting's the worst part. So unfortunately, there are victims in this as well. My son's Fiat, which is a, is a great car. And by the way, no, he did not get this after seeing Spectre. He had this great sporty car beforehand. Uh, it is going to come out of the middle bay of the garage to make room for the Aston. It's going to be here in the driveway. My son's a great guy. He had a, a big heart for this fantasy of mine, put up no resistance whatsoever to having his car out here. We'll see how he feels about it when the snow comes, but um, I appreciate his sacrifice. Well, okay, it's around uh, 6.20 right now. It hasn't been that long since I checked in with you, and yet time is moving backwards, it seems. It's, uh, we're slowing down, but um, it, they're not late. They said somewhere between six and seven, so, you know, I'm not being impatient or anything. Okay, it's a little bit after seven o'clock. We got a call from the driver. They are close, they're about 10 minutes away. Finally, as you can see, the sun is up. So, uh, you know, we've, we've seen the horizon change. Um, hopefully this horizon is gonna change pretty soon.
Fantastic. Oh my god. This is what you right? Yeah, it is what I All right, I'm here with my friend Em. Em, you took this Aston Martin across the United States, didn't you? Oh yeah. Any big adventures, any bar fights, any big situations? I don't have time for bar fights. No time for bar fights, oh my gosh. And uh, first of all, thank you. You made my dream come true. You're so welcome. I appreciate it. And you're freezing, you've got to be freezing. You're from Washington State, right? Well, I'm from Russia, a little polar bear. You're from Russia, I'm from Russia too. Really? Yeah, yeah, the Ukraine. But you're I mean, from Ukraine? From Russia. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. You sound like you have an accent. I'm many generations removed, but... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Zaritsky with a Y, so... Yeah, that's why I was like, Zaritsky, that sounds like an interesting last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for delivering this. We're going to let you get warm. Thank you All again. Right. Thank Take you. care. Um, I've had the car for a few days and it's been a little bit of a tease so every time I've come home from work I slip into the garage and see this thing waiting for me but I have not had it registered yet just got temporary registration I have to bring it in for inspection and then I can start driving this thing on the road I can't wait um, just sitting in here though has been very cathartic very surreal and again it's one of these things that I appreciate every moment and every nuance I mean, you can see with the steering wheel and all the buttons in there, I don't even know what most of them are, but believe me, I will find out what they are. Um, love the little details like the hand stitching on the seats. And of course, on top there, I don't know if you can see it with this lighting. Let me open the door. And by the way, the doors have this wonderful kind of low profile and they open up at a slant. That's for a really ease of parking and not smashing things. But let's see if we can see this suede. It's a meteorite color suede at the top there. Um, we've got some really nice accents throughout here. But all the details, I mean, it's hard to believe that this is a 2006 with the condition that it's in. But then again, with 12,000 miles, this thing has been babied. Well, there is one thing we can do while we're waiting for this to be registered and roadworthy, and that is to test out the sound system. The sound system is a Dolby ProLogic 2. That's like the ones you get in the best movie theaters. There's um, surround sound speakers everywhere. And you know that the first song, the first music that can be played in this Aston Martin can only be one type of music. Come on, tell me you would do the same thing. 
Well, the sun is setting, so it's getting a little bit cold and we're gonna go inside, we're going to go inside. And this has just been about the journey of, of getting this unicorn, this, this car that has been my fantasy car. Um, again, I truly appreciate it. It's not something I take for granted. I think I've said that a million times in this vlog, but this has been about all of that. And now part two is going to be about the drive. Um, so far, I've had a bit of a tease and a test and just driving around up and down the neighborhood, but I wanna hit the open road now that we're registered and that's my next iteration. So we'll be off and doing that. Hope you come with us. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Ah, here it is. We'll see you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 